God is good. All the time. All the time. The way, you, the, time. the way you're responding is like you don't know what you're saying. I say, God is good. All the time. All, all the time. And all the time. God is good. God is good. God is good. Stand up wherever you are. Just be on your feet right now. I want us to go before God one more time and tell the Holy Spirit you are welcome into this place. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot receive from God. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot receive from God. God. And the people uh, who are doing evangelism yes. will agree with me that uh, when you go out to preach the gospel you will preach the gospel but it is the work of the Holy Spirit to bring conviction on the people that you're talking to to yes. accept Jesus yes. as their personal Savior so there is no way you are going to receive anything from God without the Holy Spirit so in this service I want us to go before God and, and say Holy Spirit you are welcome into this place you are welcome into my heart in my heart and I want you to expound your word so that I can be able to grasp the revelation of the word of God because you are the person behind the revelation you are the person behind the receiving of what God has already released in our lives without yes. you we are not able to receive anything but the power of the Holy Ghost we are going to receive what God has destined for us today in the name of Jesus, oh, if you believe with me, Lord. begin Thank to pray that prayer wherever you are in the name of Jesus. Christ, welcome, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Welcome you, welcome you, the Holy Spirit of God. In Make eyes, sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I Make sure you are praying. I welcome you in the name of Jesus welcome. Christ. Welcome, welcome the, the Holy Spirit. Christ, in the name of welcome Jesus the Holy Spirit. Christ. The Holy Spirit, I welcome you in my life. In the name of Jesus, welcome Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, I welcome you, Holy Spirit. Teach me the word of Make God. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Sanctify me, the Holy Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, fill us, O oh Lord, with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Make sure you pray, make sure you pray, make sure you pray. My God, my God, my God. Jesus, 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 Jesus Christ. I thank you. Your voice must be heard. Your voice must be heard. I will call unto the name of Jesus and he shall hear my prayer. And he shall hear my prayer. God is here to hear your prayer. This is your day of visitation. Tell the Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Jesus. Reba Seka Teke Sheke Telize. In the name of Jesus. Eprazo Pradashadaza. Without you, we can do nothing. But by the power of the Holy Spirit, we can do all things. Pray, 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 pray. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. My God, Jesus Christ. Make sure your voice is heard. Make sure your voice is heard. E prazo peguei essa tolisa. Lente para dois que desidaliza. Requeze para dois que desidaliza. You can do better than that. Make sure you lift up your voice. Make sure you lift up your voice. You can do better than that. Lente para dois para dois. Requeche que te liza e fariza. You empower us all Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 When it comes to the time we are praying, make sure you are praying. Nobody is praying for you at this time 
Oh, yes. You are praying by yourself. Yes, yes, Lord. God is ready to hear your prayer. Amen. He says, if my people who are called oh, yes. by my name shall humble themselves and forsake their evil ways and seek my face, I, God, shall hear from heaven. And it is very important for God to hear your voice from heaven. Not the voice of your neighbor, but your voice. I, God, shall hear from heaven. And I will forgive their sins. And I will heal their land. Once your land has been healed, once your sins are forgiven, you gain unlimited access to the grace of God which is new every morning. The grace and the mercies of God are renewed each and every single day. They are renewed in your life. And you need, you cannot, you cannot operate on the grace of yesterday. You cannot operate on the mercy of yesterday. Every single day things are happening and you need the grace of God the way we need the blood of Jesus to keep on washing us of all our sins and transgression. So that is how you need the mercy of God to be renewed in your life. As you stand before God to pray, he says, I shall hear from heaven. And when you pray, it is your voice that is heard in heaven as a person, not the voice of your neighbor. So I want you to stand up wherever you are one more time and welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit. I want you thank to do you, in a you, better thank way. Thank you, thank Make you, sure you mean it. Make sure you are connected. Make sure you feel it that the Spirit of God has come down already in my life in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, begin to pray that prayer one more time. Begin to pray that prayer. Welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit. 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 The Holy Spirit of God in my life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Rabba Zanta Rabba, Rika Toraba, Ripa, Rabba Zanta Rabba, Rabba Baba Zanta Rabba, Rabba Zekepete Riba Shekete Liza, Rabba Yanta Rabba, Rega Zapa Rashete Liza Doliza, Rabba, Rabba Baba Zanta Rabba, Lepra Zopa Sheke Plazoto Liza, Rabba Baba Yanta Rabba, Eta Sekete Rishekete Liza, Michael Rabba Yanta Rabba, Rika Toraba. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, have your way, have your way. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 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 Our children shall be taught of the Lord. Our children shall be taught of the Lord. Jesus, I thank you, Jesus. Make sure you pray. Jesus, Make sure you pray. Jesus, 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 my God. Rabba Yanta Rabba. Rabba Yanta Rabba. Rabba Rabba Yanta Rabba. Rabba Yanta Rabba. Rabba Rabba Yanta Rabba. Rabba Rabba Yanta Rabba. Make sure you pray. Make sure you pray. Rabba Yanta Jesus. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. My God, my God, Jesus. My God, Rabba Yanta. Jesus, my God, Jesus, my God, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. 
Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus, my God. Father, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. There is none like you. Thank you. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Thank Lift up you, your Father hands. God. Father, I pray this day. Yes, Lord. We are rejoicing and we are glad. Oh, yes, Lord. I want to appreciate you for the lives of your children here today. Yes, Lord. I want to appreciate you because their lives will never remain the same again. Mm. You say, I have not asked the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. Yes, Lord. It is not in vain to seek the face of God. Oh, yes, Lord. It is not in vain to serve God. Yes, Lord. You say that you shall serve the Lord your God and you will be able to bless our bread and water. Not only that, but you shall also remove sickness from the midst of us. Oh, yes, my God. And you say that none shall cast their young before their time. Oh, yes, Lord. Not only that, but you say even the numbers of your days, I, God, shall fulfill. Oh, yes, Lord. As we stand in your presence today, I speak life in the lives of your children here today. Oh, yes, Lord. I speak life right now over you in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Jesus. Every or any area of your life that is experiencing an attack, oh, yes, Lord. I speak life in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Jesus. I speak life in the name of Jesus. Amen, Lord. May you experience life. Yes. May you experience the resurrection yes, Lord. of all that has died in you. Oh, yes, Lord. Of all that has died with you. Yes, Lord. Everything that has died is receiving life. Amen. And I pray that this grace shall work to, for you. Yes. And it shall work together with you. Yes, yes, Lord. Father, I thank you because of your children who are here and those who are watching us online. Oh, yes, Lord. And even those who are going to watch this service later. Oh, yes, I Lord. pray for you in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. May Lord. the Lord minister to you. May the Lord minister to you. Oh, yes, Lord. May you not come out of this place the same way you came in. Oh, yes, Lord. Let there be a metamorphosis. Yes, Lord. Let there be a change of story. Yes, Lord. Let there be a change of story. Yes, Lord. Say, my father, my father. Oh, my father. Raise your voice. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Let there be a change of story. Let there be a change of story. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My life will never remain the same. 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 I am changing. I am changing into another man. Into another man. I will never remain the same. I'll never remain the same. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will never remain the same. I'll never remain the same. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. I am making progress. I am making progress. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What is standing my way? What is standing my way? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The evil report. Reports. The evil report. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The evil words. The evil word that was spoken against me. That was spoken against me. What matters in my life? What matters in my life? It is you, O Lord. It is you, O Lord. Speak a word. Speak a word into my life. Into my word, and I will be settled. And I'll be settled. Say, speak a word. Speak a word into my life. Into my life, and my life shall be settled. And my life shall be settled in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tell God, speak to my life right now. Begin to pray. To my Tell God, God, speak to my life, to my and I am settled. I am settled. Speak to my, heart. Speak to my life, in the name and I am settled right now. Speak, speak to me, my God. Speak to me, and I'll be settled. And I'll settle, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I'll settle, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jehovah, 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 Jesus. Speak to my life. Speak to my heart. Speak, my God, to my thoughts. Speak to my soul in the name of Jesus Christ. And everything I shall settle in my life in the name of Jesus. I shall be set everything, my God. Shall be settled in everything, in every my life in the name of Jesus. Settle me, Jehovah. You settle me in the name of Jesus. Speak to me. Settle to me, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. 
Father, we thank you for the blessing. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Say amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Welcome your neighbor. Say neighbor, you're welcome. Neighbor, you're welcome. Turn to your neighbor say, neighbor, you are welcome into the house of neighbor, God. Neighbor, you are welcome into the house of the Lord. I cannot hear you. Say, neighbor, you are welcome into the house of God. Neighbor, you are welcome to the house of the Lord. Turn to your left and your right and make sure you welcome your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, my neighbor, you are welcome into the house of God. My neighbor, you are welcome to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. I take this opportunity to welcome you all once again. Kindly have your seat. Amen. Amen. I take this opportunity to welcome you once again. Amen. Into this Sunday service. And I believe your life will never be the same again. Amen. If you believe with me, say amen. 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 I say your life will never be the same again. Amen. Amen. I am going to go into the book of Amos, chapter number three. Amos, chapter number three. I want someone from. The one who are joining us online, please can you read for me if you're there? Read for me, Amos. Those who are joining us online, one of you, read for me the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse number 7. Hey, ask your neighbor, where is the Bible? Hey, ask your neighbor, where is the Bible? Where is your Bible? Make sure you have your Bible with you whenever you're coming to a service like this. It's very important. Say amen. Amen. Make sure you, you have your own Bible when you come to a service like this. Read for me Amos 37, please, if you're there. Somebody from online, if you're there, read for me Amos 3 verse 7. Amos 3 verse 7 Surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets Surely the Lord God will do nothing <laughs> The word surely is an emphasis it, it, it tells you whatever I am saying is true hello hello one of the characteristics of truth it is that it is consistent the truth is consistent lies are not consistent lies have got a very short lifespan lies have got a very short lifespan when you operate in the light of God, you will not be a victim of lies, intimidation, manipulation, blackmails, and all those kind of things. Because you are walking in the light. And when you are walking in the light, the way that you are walking into is also lightened. And when your way is lasting, your speed is higher. Because you are able to see better. Amen. So surely, the Lord will do nothing. But he revealeth his secret to his servant. Yes. The prophet. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God has secrets. God has secrets. 
and I want my, my reader go again to the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 29 go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 29 very quickly please be a very quick Bible turner Deuteronomy chapter 29 if you're there tell me you're there God has got secrets. Say amen. Amen. The way, the way you say, as I amen. say, say amen. 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 God has got amen. what? Secrets. We are seeing in the book of Amos 3 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets to his servant, the prophet. Now let's go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29. Are you there? I'm there. Read for me verse number 29. Chapter 29 verse 29. Yes. The Bible reads The Bible reads, The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the ways of this law. Did you hear that? No, you didn't hear that. Can you repeat again? The secret things. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God. The secret things belong to our the Lord our God. But but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. But those that have been revealed to us, they belong to us and who? And our children. For how long? Forever. 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 The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but those that have been revealed to us belong to us and our, our children. children. How long? Forever. Forever. So that we may do his word so that we may I wait did you can you finish finish that scripture the secret things belong unto the Lord our God but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the ways of this law that we may do all the words of this law this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate during day and night so that you may observe to do according to all that is written so shall you make your ways prosperous shall you make your way prosperous this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth Joshua chapter 1 and verse number 8 Deuteronomy 29, 29 the secret things belong to the Lord our God but those things that have been revealed to us belong to us and our children Amen I don't know if you get what I'm saying here today Amen forever and ever they belong to us and our children forever so that we may do the word of this law Thank and then he comes and say in the book of Amos 3 verse 7 surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealed his secrets to his servants the prophet so when I'm standing here there are things that I am aware by virtue of God revealing to me which is part of his secret 
Are you following me? Yes, yes. Now, those secrets are not accessible easily by anybody. Those secrets are accessible by certain people that God has appointed. Yes. I don't know if you're following me, somebody here. We are following you. Hey, are you following me? We are following you. The secret things belong to We are following you, Daddy. The Lord our God. But those things that have been revealed to us, they belong to who? Us. And who? Our children. How long? Forever. So that we may do follow and do the books of the now listen today I will speak very shortly about obedience and thanksgiving obedience and thanksgiving say obedience and thanksgiving obedience and thanksgiving thanksgiving i cannot hear you say obedience and thanksgiving obedience and thanksgiving, obedience and thanksgiving. whenever god is speaking into your life the word that god speak into your life requires your your response requires you to do what you're supposed to do when you read in the bible you hear many stories about the bible characters one of them will say uh, i was 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 alone somewhere in the day of the lord and i had a voice behind me and i had a voice before me and then we read about we read about another one actually who was saying the, and the word of the lord came unto me are you here and the word of the lord came unto, unto me, me saying now whenever god is speaking to you the moment god sp speaks to you there is something that you are required to do whenever god is speaking to you there is something or some things that you are required to do whenever god is speaking to you there are things that are required from you to do this is a basic christian knowledge that you must be able to understand whenever god is speaking into your life there is something or there are things that he wants you to do the bible is god's word speaking to us and he says now this book that you call the bible that is my word the moment you receive this word you meditate therein day and night not so that you can you can you can you can enlist yourself in the list of people who have read the whole bible no it continues to say so that you may observe to do so that you may observe to do what to, to do. do according to all that is written therein why i can do all things say all things all things through christ that strengthens me through Christ that strengthened me. Are you getting the picture here? Yes, yes. Say, I can do all things. I can do all things. I can do all things. So this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. The moment you stop speaking God's word, the ability to do all things is taken away from you. This book of the law shall not oh, yes. depart out of your mouth but thou shall meditate therein day and night so that you may observe to do according to all that is written in there and then shall you make your ways prosperous
seco prados que Oh yes. Thank you, Jesus. La zope te rima zento dice. Imprazo pradosh. Legeze pradosh. Imprazo kerese te dice. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. I will begin again for, for better understanding from the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 29. And verse number 29. The secret things belong to the Lord our God. But those that have been revealed to us belong to us and our children forever. Forever. Why? Forever. So that we may do. 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 Joshua 1 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and you may observe to do. So that you may observe yes. to do according to all that is written. They are in. So, keywords number one is to do, and number two is all. <laughs> say to do to do do say all all to all. do all those are keywords are you hearing what i'm saying yes say oh, to yes. do to do to do and say all 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 now there are secrets which belong to god that he has revealed by the Holy Spirit to us in order for us to do. Tell your neighbor you need to do. Oh, yes. You need to do. You need to do. Tell your neighbor you need to do. You need to do. To do. Neighbor, to do. you need to do. And you're not going to do half, you're going to do all. All, all, to do all. You will do, you're gonna do all. And that's why Paul says that I can do all. Things. I can do all things. things. I can do all, all things. things through who? Christ. Through Christ. Who does what? Who strengthens me? Christ. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. You cannot obey God by your own strength. You cannot obey God by your own understanding. You cannot obey God by your own wisdom. You cannot obey God by your own resources. No. You need God to strengthen you so that you can obey. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Amen. Say obedience and thanksgiving. Obedience. obedience and thanksgiving. One more time. Say obedience and thanksgiving. Obedience and thanksgiving. Obedience and thanksgiving. Now, let me go to verse number 8. The, I mean, verse number 8. The lion has rolled. That is Amos chapter 3, verse 8. The lion has rolled. Roll. Now, Jesus is equating himself as the lion of, of the tribe of Judah. The lion mm -mm. of the tribe of Judah. Of Judah. Meaning to say, when the lion is roaring, that is God is speaking. Yes. So the lion has rolled. Who will not fear? Who will not fear? The Lord God has spoken. Hey. Hey. 
Yes. The lion has roared. And I'm telling you, he is the lion of the tribe of, of Judah. Judah. Meaning yes. to say Amen. that it is God who has spoken. Yes, yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Who can but prophesy? So when God is speaking, we are here to prophesy. When God is roaring, we are here to prophesy. When God is speaking, we are empowered to prophesy. Yes, amen. The lion has roared. So when I am prophesying, there is a sound of a lion roaring in your life. Uh -huh. Oh yes, Lord. So a prophecy is a roaring lion. Jehovah God himself. I receive. I receive. When I say that says the Lord, that is the lion roaring. Wow. Are you here somebody? Yes, yes, yes. I receive. Now when you are prophesying, who will not fear? Legozopa de Shaliza. The lion has rolled. Not will. Has rolled. God has already spoken. Yes. Now when God speaks, the prophet prophesies what God has spoken. Hello? Hello? Amen. Hello? Hello? Amen. So number one, you need to understand. You need to tell yourself. You need to rehearse. You need to sing. You need to live by it. You need to dream it. You need to exercise it that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yo, I will hey, I will wipe you like Jesus was wiping the, 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 the those people who are selling things in the church. Do you understand me? You. I'm talking to you. Hey. Are you here? Oh yes. Are you here? Say amen. We are amen. here, baby. Hey, say amen. Amen. I cannot hear you. Say amen. Hey, amen. I cannot hear you. Say amen. amen. When the lion roars, the prophet speaks. That is prophecy. Are you here? Amen. Amen. Surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealeth his secret to his servant, the prophet. The prophet. So, yes, yes. prophets are the custodians of the mysteries of God in the form of secrets. Prophets are the carriers of God's secrets. And they are the conveyor belt of God's secrets when they are prophesying to the people. If you don't receive, I receive myself. I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive. <laughs> Say I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive, I receive, I receive. And I said this year, we need to pray like never before. Je ladies and gentlemen, let me say this. Every single day, you wake up in the morning, there is an addition to your life. The number of your days are increasing the numbers of your days are being fulfilled the numbers of your days are being what fulfilled. they are being fulfilled so you are your days are added meaning to say you are demonstrating god's faithfulness which i quoted in the book of exodus chapter number 23 and verse number 25 going especially verse number 26 he says the numbers of your days i god shall do what Say fulfill. Multiply. No. Fulfill. The numbers of your days. Remember, he didn't say the years of your years. The number of your, your days. days. Every single day is very important. 
this behavior of coming here on December with a huge list of resolution, New Year resolution, you should stop it. You are now idolizing days more than God. Days have become idols to you. You believe on the 1st of January of a new year, something is going to happen. But again, you are the same person doing the same thing, same way, day in, day out. What is the difference between you and the witch? Oh my God. The Bible says, this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. Hmm. Oh. David says, in the morning, in the evening, even at noon, I will cry out unto the Lord and he shall hear. He shall hear. This is the day hmm. that the Lord has made. And when you go back to the book of Psalms, I believe Psalms chapter number whatever. I've got so many chapters here. I'll just quote the word it is. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the day. days. All the day. days. All the day. days of my life. My life. Not all the years. All day. the days. We have long term vision, mid term vision, and short term Vision. vision. A year or the years of your life is a long term vision. Long -term, yeah. But apart from the long term, they are short term. If you cannot take care of your short term goals, forget about your long term goals. Yes. If you cannot take care of your short term goals, forget about your long term goals. It is your short term goals that are catapulting you to your long term goals. Goals. It is your short term goals that are a building stock so that you can be able to be propelled to accomplish your long term goals. Yes, amen. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate during day and night. Day and night. night. Day and, and night. Night. Are you are you getting something here? Yes, you are getting oh, something. Oh yes. And it says, and the numbers of your days I God shall fulfill. Amen. Lifespan. So when a child is conceived in a mother's womb. When a child is conceived in a mother's womb, the clock begins to tick. The clock is ticking. He says, before I formed thee in your mother's womb, I knew you. So God already formed you. God already made you. God already finished you. He has done, he's done with you. Let me, let me demonstrate. Can I demonstrate something here? Yes. Oh, yes. What God does, he, he, he creates you. He forms you. Okay? And then he raises you up. He gives you resources. He makes sure that you are supposed to become a billionaire. The billionaire is already there. Everything is... And then now he takes you and puts you from a place called start. Da. And then you begin from there. Can I repeat again? Yes. God does mm -hmm. not begin from the beginning. No, he begins from the end, going to the beginning. So, he creates you, he forms you, he blesses you, he does everything to you. You are, you are, and he says you're going to be this and that and that. You're going to be a billionaire, you're going to be, and everything is, has been done. And well mm. documented. And then he takes you, and then he goes back and blesses you in your mother's womb. And then he stands over there. That is why I am telling you and I, I want to remind you again. 
it will take the hand of God who made you, who prospered you, who healed you, who protected you from the time you are formed in your mother's womb to, to take you to your destiny where he created for you. Yes, amen. Thank you, Jesus. So by the time you have been formed in your mother's womb, God is not figuring out, oh, what in the world is this person going to be? No, he already done that one long time ago. And yes. that's why he said, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Amen. Say, Amen. God knows me. God knows me. Hey, say, God knows me. God knows me. God knows me. He knows my yesterday. He knows my yesterday. He knows my today. He knows my today. And he knows my tomorrow. And he knows my tomorrow. One more time. Say, God knows me. God knows me. He knows my yesterday. He knows my yesterday. He knows my today. He knows my today. And he knows my tomorrow. And he knows my tomorrow. Now, he is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Hello? Hello? So, you need to have access to the information about you concerning where you are going and what you are supposed to accomplish because it is domicile with God that will guide you into the way that you should go. Many people have been hijacked in this journey of life and now they are going in the wrong direction that God never ordained in the first place for them to move in that direction. Many people have been hijacked by wrong people in their lives. And that is why their lives are in wreckages. They are stagnated. They are frustrated. They are confused. Why? Because they are veered off the plan of God for their lives. And this hour you are going to be recovered you are going to be restored you yes. are going to be reinstated back yes in the mighty name of jesus christ i receive i receive i Lord. receive i receive say supernatural restoration supernatural restoration supernatural restoration say supernatural restoration supernatural restoration supernatural restoration if there is anything that you lost in the hand of the devil by virtue of you reconciling together back with your father what in heaven and begin to walk with you i'm telling you everything that was stolen from the by the devil from you you'll find them on your way when you are following the footstep of jesus and he's telling you go this way turn right turn left you are gonna find everything that you lost you are gonna meet your destiny helpers you're gonna meet your future husband future wife oh, you're gonna yes. meet your business oh, that yes. will prosper everything that god created oh, yes. everything that god did beforehand you are going to meet them oh, and yes. i pray for you that this year this shall be the year oh, that yes. you're going to have an encounter with your destiny in the oh, name yes. of jesus shout i receive i receive i receive i receive i receive, I receive. I receive. When I stand here and I say, stop what you are doing, do this. You think I'm the one who's speaking? No, daddy. Hello? Hello? The lion has already roared. Huh? Who will not fear? The lion has already roared. And God has roared. spoken, but who cannot but, but prophesy? Hmm. Time is coming. I'm just waiting. I'm wait I'm, I'm 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 looking at the weather. You know, I'm looking at the weather and the way you guys are also behaving. Time is coming. You will be surprised. Amen. You will be surprised. Amen. Are you hearing me somebody? Yes, we are hearing. Oh yes. Yeah. And it's very very soon. Say God is will surprise me. God hey. will surprise God me. God will surprise me. Say God will surprise me. God will surprise me. God will surprise me. No ear has heard. No eye has seen. No ear has heard. Nor or nor has it entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for them that love him. Hmm. Are, you, are you here somebody? 
Yes, we are hearing. Oh, yes. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it entered into the heart of a man that which God has prepared for them that love him. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. And he says, if you love me, you oh, yes. will obey my commandment. If you love me, you will obey my mm. commandment. You have got no business. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, you must be busy obeying God's commandment. Oh, yes. Lord. And the moment you are busy obeying God's commandment, God is busy to make sure that his word is coming to pass in your life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Never be wary in doing good because in season in the real time you shall reap you shall reap yes. you shall reap I was in the vision are you following me? yes yes I was, I was in a certain there were several visions that I saw prior to this service not yesterday but some days before there are some visions that I was seeing are you here? We are here. And in that vision, one of the vision, I saw, I saw you. I will not mention your name. I saw you. And I was praying for you. And something had already happened out of the prayer that I pray for you. And to, to, to your amusement, eh? to your surprise, the word that you came from your mouth was, why didn't I know these things you know, from the beginning. Hello? Hello? I wish I knew you before. Man of God, I wish I knew you 20 years ago. Are you following me? We are following you. Are you following me? We are following you. The events that are taking place in the spiritual realm are superior to what are happening in this physical realm. The events that are taking place in the spiritual realm rule what or override what is happening in the physical realm. If you want to be part and parcel of building and also stirring up your destiny, you must begin from you operating from the spiritual dimension. Okay, let me, let, me, let, me use, let, me, let me use the example that you understand. If you want to eat many, many pieces of meat, more, more than the rest, be the one in the kitchen to cook. You, you have got access, you can eat the way you want. You know, you are in the kitchen. Those who are in the sitting room, they are waiting. So you eat a half kilogram, and then a half is what, I'm, but I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just giving an example. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes, yes. So you are in the kitchen. You you ha it's, you are cooking three kilograms. You hammer one whole, one whole kilogram by yourself in the kitchen, and remaining two, and the two you divide among it yourself. Are you here? We are here. God wants you to be part and parcel of your making. God wants you to be part and parcel of the making of your destiny. God has always desired to involve man in his affairs. God has always been interested in involving man in his affairs. And one of the major, you know, one of the one of the main of the affairs of God is you. Say me. Me. So God is planning good things for me. Say me. Me. God is speaking to me every day. Say me. Me. God has got good plans for me. Say for me. For me. I know me. the plans that I have towards you. you. Jeremiah 29 and verse number 11. I, God, I know the plans that I have for you. For you. They are not to harm you. Hello? Hello? They are not what? To harm you. Can you read for me uh, that book of uh, Isaiah? Is it Isaiah 29? No, Jeremiah. Is it Jeremiah? Eh? Jeremiah, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Please read for me. Eh? 
Hey, someone from whatever those who are watching. Can you read Jeremiah 29 verse 11? I want you to read in King James Version and if someone else has got NIV you can also read in NIV. Say for I know for I know the plans for I know. So if you're there please read for me Jeremiah 29 verse number 11. Those who are online please. Uh, Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the thoughts that I think toward you says the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end To give you expected end. end. I'm going back to my illustration. God made you whoever you are supposed to be. And then he backs off. And then he puts you in a mother's womb. And says, I know the thoughts. You know, the thoughts, you, you only plan in your mind. It's the thoughts. So when God is thinking something about you, it's actually a plan. Plan. So he's a God of plans. The other version says, I know the plans that I have for you. So he, he makes sure everything is done about you. And then he backs off and puts you in your mother's womb. And he tells you, the moment you come out of your mother's womb, he says, hey, I know the thoughts I have. I know the plans that I have towards you. They are for peace. Not for evil. God is giving us clues. God is giving us clues on how we should live and how we should do our business and where we should go and how to get there. I know the thoughts I have or I think towards you. I know the plan that I have towards you. To give you peace. They're not for evil. Yes, yes, Lord. So, peace is one of the ways that God uses to guide his people. I will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Peace is one of the ways God uses to direct his people. I don't mind if you follow me somebody. We are following you. We are following daddy. Sekoraba Sheikh Lazo Parike. What is, what is my message today? Obedience and thanksgiving. And I say, for better understanding and for those, if you, if you forget everything, you must not forget this. When God is speaking, He is, or you are required to respond by doing. You are required to respond by doing. Doing. But if you sit Doing. down, if you sit down and you say, "For God so loved the world," and then you go, yes, God. Hey, "Faith is the substance of things over," and then the, the the secret things below there. No, 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 no. When God is speaking, you are supposed to respond by doing. Yes, yes, amen. Oh yes. Because God is a doer of His word. Yes, yes. He says, "Amen." Faithful is He. Mm -hmm that calleth thee who also will do it. Faithful is he that calleth thee who also will do what? Will do it. Do it. Hmm. So it's about doing, not speaking. Hello? Hello? Hi. I gave you the scripture in the book of Mark Mark uh, on, the, on the WhatsApp group those of you who are not on our subgroup, make sure you join our subgroup. Say amen. 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 I repeat, those who are not on our subgroup, if you say if your phone does not have a WhatsApp application, it is not your phone, give it away. Make sure you go and take your phone. You must have WhatsApp in your phone. What is wrong with you? Ask your neighbor, what is wrong with you? 
What's wrong with you? What is wrong with your neighbor? In in the year in the 21st century, you you are, you are still using a phone that even uh -uh, that is not your phone. That's, that, that's your that's your grandmother's phone. Give your grandmother her phone, please, and go and take a proper that's phone. That's an error. Are you here, somebody? Amen. Oh yes. I'm reading from my Bible, King James version, Mark chapter 11, verse 23. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, whosoever shall do what? Shall say unto say this mountain, unto. be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which are said shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he says yes. therefore I say yes. unto you what things soever you desire when you pray mm. believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Amen. Hey, amen. Whatsoever I you shall see. ask God in prayer, number one, believe that you already have them. And you shall have them. Amen. And amen. I receive. You don't wait until the symptoms have you know, disappeared for you to know that you are healed. You ask God for healing. Just know I am already healed and healing will come immediately. Amen. I receive, I receive, mm. I receive. Amen. When you I are receive. being called for testimony, you are looking like this, like some mongoose in the baboon. No, you already have testimonies. You just say, I have a testimony. Well, hey, by his stripes, I am healed. This is the report of the doctor, but I have a new report, a superior report that I am already healed, and that is my testimony. Amen. I receive. Hmm. Amen. But now you are waiting. You are waiting. You are waiting for the ruling of the judge. What are you waiting for? God has already ruled for your favor. Amen. Amen. I Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You don't wait until you receive a letter hmm. of whatever transfer, a letter of promotion. No. You are already promoted. I receive. I receive. I receive. I am teaching you how to receive. Therefore I say, let me begin. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever, whosoever, that is, it doesn't matter who you are, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. Ha ha ha. And he shall not doubt in your heart. Uh -huh. But shall believe that those things which he say shall come to pass. Which he say, not what God says, which he says shall come to pass. He shall not only move the mountain, but he shall have whatsoever he shall say. And to explain that, he says now, therefore, I say unto you, what things soever, whatever it is, what things forever you desire, it must begin from the heart. You must desire it. Desire is the function of the heart. Whatsoever things you desire, when ye pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. There are people who are watching me and you are not married. And you are praying God so that you can get married. Whether you are a man or a woman. Listen to me. Mm. Your wife is already available. Your husband is already available. What you need to do is begin to ask God to help you to prepare yourself for the marriage that has already taken place. Mm. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody here today? Yes, yes, yes. Eh? You are communicating the deep. Am I speaking to oh, somebody yes. 
Yes, yes. Now, let me go to gear number two. What makes you, or what convinces you that you already have something that you cannot see with your physical eyes? And let me repeat what I said before. Your physical eyes have been used for a long time to betray you many times. It is time now you do not walk after the flesh, but you walk after the spirit. According to the book of Romans, chapter number 8, beginning from verse number 1, for better understanding. For there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk after the flesh, but after Amen. the spirit. For the law, for the spirit of law of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of the spirit of death. Amen. Amen. You are not mm. operating under the law of the spirit of death. No, you are operating Amen. under the law of the spirit of, of life. life in Christ Jesus. Where you are able to know that it is already done. Even though your physical eyes have not seen it, it's already done. You can see it in the spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. That Amen. I may behold. That I may behold. Wondrous things out of your law. That I may behold. Lutras. Hey, say, O oh Lord. O oh Lord. Open my eyes. Lord, open my eyes. That I may see. That I may see. Wondrous things. Wondrous things. Out of thy law. Out of thy law. Out of thy law. The problem is not God doing or not doing. I say and I say it again. It is done. All you need to do is now begin to look at it. Search for it with your spiritual eyes and you see it is done. Amen. Yes. Amen. And that now forms a basis of the techniques of your prayer. And you say, because now you have already seen it. You know how to address it in prayer. Oh yes, Lord. You can only ask to be given something that has already been re re released in your life when you don't see it in the spirit. Hmm. That prayer is a waste of time. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them. And you shall. And you shall. Believe that you receive them. And you shall have them. So you have already received. You need to have them now. Mm. Oh yes. <laughs> mm, I receive. I receive. Are you here? Uh, receive, receive, receive. Deuteronomy chapter number two and verse number twenty-four. The Bible says, "Rise ye up, take your journey, cross the river Ammon. Behold, I have given into your hand. Behold, I have given into your hand. The word is behold. See." I've done what I have given into your hand. I God, I'm saying, just behold, open your eyes and see. I've already given. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hmm. And down there he says, now begin to possess. How, how? If you are if you are if if you are a, if you are an English person, someone who has done English, you are now you'll be wondering. God says, I've already given your hand. And then he says, No, begin to possess. Now let's let me simplify this. When something has been given to you, something has been given to a hands. And I told you, you are hands. Faith is your spiritual hands that receive things that God is giving to you. Behold, that is your eyes. I have given into your hands. Sihon, the Amorite, whatever, and his land. And he says, begin to possess and contend with him in battle. How do you begin to possess and contend with him in battle? That is the teaching I'm doing, especially on Wednesdays and Fridays. Wednesday intensive prayer unit and Friday prayer clinic. Those are purely prayer services. You need to learn how to pray. You need to pray, oh God, give. After pray, oh God, give. You don't say again, oh God, give. What, what kind of nonsense is that? 
at one moment Jesus was faced with the need there were many people who were attending his crusade and it was lunch time they were very angry they wanted to eat and the disciples told, told Jesus they were giving him some advice uh, allow people, them to go to the, to the towns wherever the village eh, to the shops let them go and get something to eat and then we'll, we'll continue the service say no you feed them you feed them you feed them why did Jesus tell told his disciples that they should feed the mount the multitude he was not telling them to depend on what they have he was telling them to operate in God's ability say amen 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 say I will feed the nations I will feed Say, the nations. I will feed nations. I will feed the nations. I will feed nations. Jesus is not a playboy who is just teasing you with his words. He said, You feed them. And he demonstrated how to do it. He said, What do you have? No, it's just a tithe. And it's just a small. It's a seed. He said, That is what I'm talking about. Bring it to me. And he took the seed and lift it towards heaven and say father i thank you father i do what i thank, I you. thank, you. I thank you father i do what i thank you i thank you not by fire by thunder by fire by thunder multiply uh -uh. father i thank you thank you for you do for you what do you do you hear my prayers do you, do you know that our father is our provider yes now jesus was demonstrating what i'm teaching you today here he never said multiply this he says whatsoever things that you desire when you pray believe you have them and you shall have them believe that you you have received and you shall have them and he says you can only thank god for what has already been given to you so it was a prayer of thanksgiving it was not the asking prayer it was a thanksgiving prayer it was not the asking prayer it was thanksgiving prayer, prayer. and after he finished bah multiplication say multiplication 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 there is no any other prayer that I know on the planet earth that multiplies than the prayer of thanksgiving. Some people are literally murmuring before God and they think they are praying and whatever small they have is taken away from them. Jesus says to whom much the one who has got much, much will be given. He will be added and the one who has got little even the little that they have they shall be taken away from them these are the people who are ungrateful 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 you have received something out of this anointing and then you disappear that is a sign of ungratefulness you are a spiritual gambler You are a robber, a daytime robber. Out of the ten lepers that Jesus healed, only one came and said, I came to acknowledge the power that is in you that made me to be healed and to thank you. And to do what? Thank you. And to do what? Thank you. And to do what? Thank you. He came to Jesus to give thanks. And that prayer of thanksgiving, that the left, he was healed. He was giving thanks to Jesus. I said, where are the nine? I healed ten. And I'm expecting you to come and give me thanks. A prayer of thanksgiving. Ah, you're the one who has come. Come here. I have made you whole. Meaning, no sickness will touch you again. Go away. You have made whole. The rest of the nine. We don't know where they are actually. We don't know where they went. The reason why you are receiving victory today 
and tomorrow the victory is taken away from you is because you are an ungrateful person. The reason why you are you are you are winning the court case today and tomorrow you are your enemy goes back and appeal the case is because you are ungrateful. You have not obeyed the instruction from God. Say obedience. Hey, say obedience. I begin. Say obedience. Obedience. Say thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Obedience. Say obedience. Obedience. Say thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Obedience. Now, are you able to see something between thanksgiving. obedience and thanksgiving? Am I talking to human beings yes, here? Yes, yes. Huh? We are saying. Hey, 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 hey. Are you able to relate these two thanksgiving and obedience? Yes, yes. Where are the nine? I'm not blowing a trumpet for them to. They came to me by themselves. And I healed them. But because of their ungratefulness, they are they are they in the, there is no vocabulary of thanksgiving in them. They never saw a reason why to come back and give thanks. Thanksgiving prayer is a very powerful prayer. It actually multiplies what we, are, we have already received from God. It is multiplied. Yes, yes. It is not an addition. There is a difference between addition and multiplication. 2 plus 2 is what? 4. Huh? 4. So I'm not talking about 4. Are you here? <laughs> We're here. 8 plus 2 is what? 10. And 8 times 2? 16. So do you want addition or you want multiplication? Multiplication is many. Did, 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 did God add more fish or he multiplied? He multiplied. I am asking those people who are watching me. Did God add fish and bread or he multiplied? Multiplied. God can only multiply something that has been given to him. As long as it is still in your possession, he will never interfere. He will never interfere. The moment you leave it and say, God, take it, he multiplies and give it back to you. Give and it shall be given back to you. Same measure. Are you here? Yes, yes. Ah, you are not following what I'm saying. <laughs> you are following. You are following. Give and it shall be given back to you. Same measure. And what? Multiplication. <laughs> now I'm, I found you somebody. Now you are, no, don't behave as if your network is not working. Your network is working. <laughs> hey. Give and it shall be given back to, to you. you. Same measure. Multiplication. Shaken together and running over shall men give to your bosom. Let me repeat. Give and it shall be given back the same. Same measure of your giving. But what it does, what happens is that the same measure that you gave shall be given back to you but not in the same way but in a multiplied form oh yes thank you Jesus where there is a running over an overflow of whatever you gave oh yes oh yes oh yes an overflow of a thousand dollars cannot be equivalent to an overflow of a million dollars same measure of what you gave shall be given back to you but not in the same amount hello 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 we use the word amount to differentiate in terms of the measure basically just the measure the amount same measure pressed down shaken together and running over same measure pressed down shaken together and running over sh not shall God shall men give to your bosom oh yes are we together 
Yeah, we are together. Okay. Are we together? We are together. Give yes. and it shall be given back to you. The, 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 young, the young lad then who gave the loaves of bread and, the, and, and fish. Huh? After everybody had eaten, they took back the remaining, the remainings. It was not exactly as the one that he gave. It was a lot that he was given back. Are you yes. here? We are here. Give. When you give to God, yes. multiplication miracle happens. Yes, yes. When you when you when you swindle your money and you, you you whatever you put whatever you put, no miracle will happen. No multiplication will happen as long as it is still in your possession. I know that's why that that that, that one cannot say I receive. Mm. For me, for me, I receive in the name of Jesus. I receive. <laughs> if, if, if you don't receive, I receive. I receive in the name of Jesus. I receive. If you don't receive, myself, I receive, I receive. in the name of Jesus. I receive, I receive. I receive. I receive in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I, I'm not the one who wrote it. It is here. Give and it shall be given back to you. Yes. Same measure. Press mm. down. Shake it together. And running over shall them. men that give to your bosom. Yes, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Amen. Amen. What you give is what will bail you out. What you keep is what will kill and destroy you. Mm. Giving is a way of life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That he gave. There is a giving. If there is life, where there is life, there is giving. Oh yes, thank you Jesus. It is only in the funeral service where it is not, it's not a life service. Eh? It's a funeral service. People rarely give. Give what? Eh? For what? Hmm. Where there is giving, there is life. Where there is giving, there is life. Yes. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hmm. It is for you now to believe in him. That is to obey, obey, obey. And you shall have everlasting life here Amen. on earth. Amen. I speak long life in your life in the name of Jesus. I receive. I receive. I speak long life in the name of Jesus. I receive. I receive. I prophesy long life in the name of Jesus. I receive, Lord. I receive. No one here will die before their time in the name of Jesus. I receive. I receive. I prophesy I receive. you shall live and not die to declare the oracles of the Lord in the land of the living in the name of Jesus. I receive. I receive. I receive. I prophesy that every agent of death and instrument of death shall be destroyed at this altar in the name of Jesus. I receive. Jesus. I receive. I receive. I want you right now to hold your passport. If you have your passport, make sure you hold it right now. Or you've got a bank card or any kind of document. I want you to have it right now. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Stand up wherever you are. Stand up wherever you are. I want to pray for your documents. I want to pray for your documents, whether it is a medical report, whether it is a report from the employer, supervisor, and a report from the government, a report from the court, a report, it, wherever it is, whatever it is. Now I want you to take it, take it right now. I want to pray for you. Sekete Prados Keteliza, Razoba Sopradisha, I can say, Rekotokla Sopradoshe. In the name of Jesus. If you have got a picture of your enemies, not your family, a picture of your enemy or the names of your enemies, write it on the paper right now. Write it on the paper. The picture of your enemy. The person who says you will not make it. The person who says you will see. The person who says you are going down. The person who says negative words. Just write their name. Kakaraba Sheplazos. Ekrazeketeri Sheketeliza. Leke Segereka. Lazo Pradosh Ketezita. Leko Pradosh Alizadia. 
Let's say, Kateri, check it in. The name of Jesus. Have your document with you right now. In the name of Jesus. And begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray wherever you are. Begin to pray. Before I pray for you, begin to pray. 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 Jesus, Jesus. Help us, my God. Save us. I cannot hear you. Raise your voice and begin to pray. Jesus, my God, I thank you, Jehovah God. You deliver us, my God. Save us, Jehovah, this particular day. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God take it. In the name of Jesus. Lord, Lord, praise the Lord. Save us, Jehovah God. Reliever us, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Redeem our lives, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, 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 pray. Jesus, my God, thank you because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, my God. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, our Savior. You are our Lord. You are our King. You are our Father. You are our God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you honor, Lord. We praise you. Adore your name, O Lord Jehovah. In the name of Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. If I've ever given you a prophetic instruction, it doesn't matter whether it was 2017 or 2023. Make sure after this service, work on that instruction and do it. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We hear you, baby. We are hearing. There is a wind that is coming. There is a wind that is coming. Mm. And that wind has got mm -hmm. seven dimensions. There is a wind that is coming. A mighty one. And it has got seven dimensions. Mm. And I want you to stay with me in prayer. If there's Amen. any single instruction I've ever given you, this is your time not to let yourself down again. Go and do it. Do not lean unto your own understanding. Amen. Never lean unto your own understanding. Never sit down and start evaluating the instruction that God is giving you. The moment you sit down and begin to evaluate the instruction that God has given you, you have been disqualified from the word go. What God wants is to be believed and to be obeyed. To be believed and to be obeyed. To be believed and what? To be obeyed. To be obeyed. Obedience and thanks thanksgiving. Giving. Thanksgiving. Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe also in his prophets and ye shall prosper people who are wise whenever I give them instruction they write it down they write it down and when they go to pray the Holy Spirit reminds them this is what I told you this is what I speak I spoke to you and the moment you do the word of God you are settled Amen. Father, I pray for every document that is risen up. May the power that is domiciled in the Holy Spirit be released and touch every single document right now. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, I receive. Let there be a miracle in the name of Jesus. Oh, I receive. I receive. And Father, I pray even the documents that are not in their hands but have been submitted already. Yes. Others have been submitted electronically. 
others have been submitted in hard copies i pray let there be a miracle in the name of jesus oh lord jesus i receive i pray let there be a miracle in the name of jesus i receive lord i receive i release the power of the holy spirit to touch each and every single document and let there be a miracle in the name of jesus i receive i receive a change is taking place in your life i see a new deployment I see a fresh deployment. May you receive in the name of Jesus. I receive, I receive. I receive. I receive. Hey, you are not hearing me. I'm talking about deployment. Deployment. May you receive in the name of Jesus. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. Now put receive. those documents down on the floor where you are right now. Put them down. Put them down. Put them down. And lift up your hands before the Lord. And begin to appreciate God for what he has done to your documents. Lift up your hands before Jesus God Christ. and begin to appreciate God for what he has thank done. You, thank you, Jesus. Begin to appreciate thank God. You, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. Begin Lord. to appreciate God. I, I can't hear you. In our lives, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Because you've given us Jehovah. In you the can name only of appreciate Jesus. God if you can see what God has done. Thank begin you, to appreciate Jesus. God for what he has done. Thank you. We thank you, Father. We thank you. Thank in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, James. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done, oh Lord, in our life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I give you praise. Thank you, thank you, Father. Father Jesus. In Jesus mighty name. We thank you Jesus. In Jesus mighty name. I say in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. I cannot hear you. I say in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. You come here. This one. Come here. Were you told by anybody that there are some strange evil spirits living in you? Hmm? Where do you come from? Hmm? I want to pray for you. Are you here? Can I pray for you? Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. I say hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Let me tell you something. I'm seeing you for the first time, right? There are things that are eating you up from the inside. For some time now. I see number 21. Number 21. Say 21. 21. And then I see number 27. Say 27. 27. I see what? 21. And 27. And what? These are people. These are people. You know them? you know them. This is the age. I'm talking about age 21 and age 27. Do you know them? Hmm? Who are they? Can you put a microphone here? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I said I see number 21 and number 27. Uh-huh. Hey, those online, are you hearing me? We can hear you, Daddy. I said number what? 
21 and 27. 21 and what? 27. 27. And these are the age. I, I, I make it clear. This is the age of people. Two people. You hear me? Yes, yes. You are coming here for the first time right now. Yeah. Can you put the microphone? Yes. You are coming here for the first time. Yes. Okay, okay. How old are you? 27. You are 27. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, put Prophesy. Your, put your hands for Jesus. Put your hands for Jesus. Prophesy. Put your hands for Jesus, wherever mm. you are. Prophesy, prophesy, Baba. Mm. I say put your hands for Jesus, wherever you are, somebody. <laughs> yes, you see the way you are, and I say I'm waiting for the environment. Just switch off. I'm waiting for the environment, the right environment. Okay? Yeah. I can talk about you from the beginning to up, up to now if you want it. You understand me? Why are you surprised? Don't be surprised. <laughs> you say you believe in God. Do you believe in God? Yes. Yes. Do you believe that God knows you? Yeah. Huh? Yes. And I think I've been teaching and you have followed my teaching. Yeah. Don't forget I said the Lord God will do nothing until he reveals what? His secret to his servant, the prophet. Yeah. You, you hear me? Yeah. All right, God speaks to me about many people. You, you're coming here for the first time. I, I, I didn't know if you're coming here, by the way. Nobody told me that you're coming here. But I can locate you with, with your age. And there is something about 21, which is still an age or so, of another person. Yeah. Not you, another person. Are you here? But because you are a new, I will not go beyond that. But I just want to pray for you for now. Okay? Yes. God is in this place. God knows you. He knows where you're coming from. He knows where you are. He knows where you're going. Okay? Yes. I want you to surrender to God. In every area of your life, surrender to God. Lift up your hands. Come, come close to me. I pray for you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Stand behind him. Stand behind him. May the Lord answer your prayer and the desires of your heart. Whatever that is not of God in you, I remove it in the name of Jesus. Out of your body in the name of Jesus. And I speak your deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. Those of you who are watching online, stretch your hands towards my direction. I pray for you. May the Lord heal every disease. May the Lord heal every sickness. May the Lord deliver you from death. May the Lord deliver you from every captivity. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord deliver your finances. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord deliver your family. May the Lord deliver your business. May the Lord deliver your wife and your husband. May the Lord de deliver your children. In the name of Jesus, I receive. No evil eye will see you and remain open. Every evil eye shall go blind in the name of Jesus. I receive, I receive. Every, any finger that was pointed toward your direction for evil, I decree that finger is cut off in the name of Jesus. I receive. Your enemies are defeated. Yes. The powers of darkness are defeated. I receive. The power of God is coming upon you. Yes. And I decree it is well with you. Yes. yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive, I receive, I receive. Hey, shout, I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive, I receive, I receive. Receive, receive, receive. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your yes, hands. Put your hands. Jesus, Jesus. Hey, put your hands together for Jesus. Say something is happening. Something is happening. Say it. Say something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Say something is happening. Something is happening. I command every demon to leave you now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Maroba shekete any voice that says you cannot do it I am here to say God told me to tell you you will do all you will do all may you receive in the name of Jesus I receive all in the name of Jesus I receive the anointing to do all things may you receive in the name of Jesus I receive I receive I receive all things I receive. I receive in Jesus mighty name we are prayed amen in Jesus mighty name amen. we are prayed amen
Open up your mouth and begin to appreciate God. Thank you, appreciate God. Appreciate God. Jesus, thank you. Appreciate God. Appreciate God. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to appreciate God. Wherever you are, begin to appreciate God. Do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things, Jehovah God. I can do all things in the name of Jesus through Christ who strengthened me I receive father to do all things to follow all things in the name of Jesus Christ to do all things Lord in the name of Jesus Christ or oh, in the name of Jesus I receive I receive I receive to do all things Jehovah I receive in the name of Jesus Christ thank you father I have received Jehovah God. Seke Pete Rika Seke Teresa. Rabbi Anta Rabbi Rika. Lepra Shepe Teleka Teresa. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive. I receive. Leke Seke Teresa Teresa. Thank you, because you've given me Jehovah God. In Jesus' mighty name. Follow me. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. There are some people I wanted to pray for. Unfortunately, their videos are off. Their videos are off. I cannot I cannot even hear them over the speakers here. Their videos are off. The day they'll be ready to attend the service, I will pray for you. I I received an instruction to pray for you. I cannot pray for someone who is not. Are you here? Yes. Are you here? Oh yes. We are here. Yes. I cannot even hear your voice. I cannot even see you. What kind of? Uh, I don't need to see where I'm standing. I cannot see you, but at least I should be able to hear your voice. Let's, we are yes, baby. Let's say we are I'm, here, baby. I am praying for ghosts. Some people are joining the service and they are sleeping, or they are washing utensils. They are doing some housework. Mm. Eh? They are joining the mm -hmm. service and they are putting the headphones and they are doing something different. I can see you. Mm. So you continue doing My your work. God. How can you work in the service? Oh my God. Ask your neighbor, why are you working in the service? Oh, why are you working in the service? Why are you working in the service? Why are you putting the headphones and you're working in the service? Seriously. <laughs> hey, talk to your neighbor. Mm. Ask me. Say, neighbor, this is not a radio station. Neighbor, this is not a radio station. <laughs> this is not a radio station. This, this is a live service. This is a live service. Huh? Hmm. You must be live. Oh my God. You must be live. I'm telling you. You must be live and you must be lively. You are, you are hiding. Yeah. You are hiding. <laughs> make sure, make sure ne next Sunday or next service, make sure you, you, you go and, you know, shower and, and change your clothes. You know, even the way you appear right now, I, I, I don't need to speak about your appearance anyway, but make sure you are okay so that you can see you. Are you here? Yeah, we are here. I cannot speak. Oh, yes, I, I cannot speak to someone who cannot even respond to me. We are here. And is someone is watching me, but I am I don't need to I don't we need are, to see we you. Are here, baby. I just don't I just I just need your voice. Mm. Are you here, somebody? We are here. We are here. Oh yes. Let me repeat this thing. This service is about obedience and what? Thanksgiving. 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 Say obedience and thanksgiving. Obedience and thanksgiving. Obedience and thanksgiving. Hey, I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. Obedience, obedience and, and thanksgiving. thanksgiving. One more time. Obedience, obedience and thanksgiving. And thanksgiving. I am here to announce that a miracle has taken place in your life today. I receive. I receive. I repeat. I repeat. I'm here to announce that a miracle has already taken place in your life. I receive. I receive. Where you are disappointed before, that disappointment will never catch up with you this year in Jesus' name. I receive, Lord. I receive. As you're standing on your feet, wherever those who have given and those who are planning to give, lift up your offering wherever you are, lift up your hand if you have given, lift up your anything that is connected to your account, your bank account or your finances, whether it's your phone, whether it is your bank card, whether it is your wallet, where you put money, whether it's whatever it is that you're able to lift it up right now, and your hands also. So make sure you are lifting up your hands before the Lord. Father, I pray 
for every single individual who is standing together with me as a man of God, who is standing together with the work of God as a ministry, who is giving towards you. May you do it unto them according to your word. Yes, Lord. Let men give into their bosom in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Remove every curse and remove everything that is making their money to be like they are filling water in a sack. No. Every single money that will land in their hands yes, will Lord. make a difference in their lives in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Every single opportunity that is coming your way will make a difference in your life in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Every single open door that is coming your way will make a difference in your life in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless your tithe, bless your seed, bless your offering, bless your sacrifice, and every kind of giving. I decree multiplication in the name of Jesus. I surround you by the blood of Jesus. I cover you by this anointing. Nothing bad shall touch you. You shall not be identified by anything evil, but only goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And as you dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever, God's presence will never leave you and the presence of the Holy Spirit will never leave you. Yes, I bless you all in the name of the Father and the oh, Son and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Shout amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. One amen. more time, shout amen. amen and amen and amen. Amen and amen and amen. Lift up, amen and amen lift up your amen. right hand. Say, surely goodness and mercy. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord. And I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Forever and ever. One more time. Say, surely goodness and mercy. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me and my family. Shall follow me and my family. Shall follow me and my loved ones. Shall follow me and my loved ones. Shall follow me and my children. Shall follow me and my children. Shall follow me and my property. Shall follow me and my all the days of my life. All the days of my life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever and ever. 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 Ever and ever. The devil will do nothing about it. The devil will do nothing about it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. Receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. Come on, come on. Shout I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. Receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive. The favor of God is coming upon you. Shout I receive. I receive, I receive. The power of God is coming upon you. Shout I receive. Receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. Your other name shall be called favor. Shout I receive. I receive. Begin to appreciate God. Begin to appreciate God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, oh Father. Thank you, thank you, Jehovah, what you've done in our lives. Father, I thank you and I bless your name. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I give you praise. I give you honor. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. we have given thanks. Amen. Put your hands Amen. for Jesus once again. Amen. I take this opportunity once again to appreciate God for your life, for those who are here and those who are joining us online. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord bless all of you oh, yes. who made this service a success for participating in one way or another in kind in contribution in service and in any way i speak special blessing to come upon you in the name of jesus christ we are going to be come back in, i mean we are going to be coming back here on wednesday during our intensive prayer unit service where the impossible become possible this is a service oh, where yeah. every single thing that has defied every manner of intervention can never, can never, can never stand in the presence of God, yes. even for a millisecond. Yes. And I believe God that this year, God is going to do marvelous things in your life and your eyes will be able to see the faithfulness of God in the land of the living. Nothing shall die in your hand this year and I see progress coming upon you in every area of your life. I surround you all by the blood of Jesus. 
nothing evil shall touch you. You shall dwell in the secret place of the mighty God and no evil shall touch you and no evil shall come near your dwelling. I bless you all in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. This is prophet Jacob Masiga, the demon terminator. I come to you live from Langata Road Primary School opposite Wilson Airport, Nairobi, Kenya. Until I see you again in the next service, I love you all and shalom. Shalom. Shalom, Daddy.